welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and today I have an absolutely huge Costco haul for you. I decided to go back and get all the things that I didn't get last time <laughs> that I should have got um, and a couple of extra bits and because my freezers have ran down a little and so I'm going to sort them out, fill them back up, fill my cupboards up and then hopefully each week just have small weekly shops and this will keep us going through the winter and some of this we do get bad um sorry we do get bad winter sometimes where we live as well up in Northumberland and we're at the very top of a hill so um yes keep us through the winter and some of it will last us a year some of the packs of things that I've bought and it saves us money in the long run that is the plan so we have, uh, it's on the floor because I didn't have room to put it elsewhere. So it's all out on the floor here. We have some of these bake at home ciabattas. There's eight in there. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to freeze some, keep a couple out and they'll be great for weekends for us for lunches or for teas if we're having like a, an easier tea and um, because the children are at school for lunches during the week and then I've got three of these seed sensation hovis breads and they were cheaper than in the supermarket and I'm going to put um, them in the freezer and then we just use them for toast mostly and take them out as we need them or I'll take a couple of slices out the night before if we want some the next day. I've got a box of the uh, Ghirardelli brownies, there's three lots in there, four sorry, they are really, really good. I've used them a couple of years ago from, uh, we used to live abroad and uh, we had lots of imported US stuff and they are amazing. Really good and really easy and simple to make with the children as well. So lots of fun. And then I've got these um, Cereo Passata Rustica. So it's like Passata, but they're not quite as smooth. It's crushed tomatoes instead. And they are really good for a bolognese or a chili lasagna, etc. And it was two packets, two packets of three for mm, five pounds something, I think. So they're less than a pound each. And they're normally oh, well over a pound in the supermarket, those ones. You can hear me rustling because I'm like moving around on the floor as I'm showing you everything. I've got a, a box of uh, 12 tin, little, those little diddy tins of um, tomato paste. And they are organic ones instead of buying the tubes of passata and which I not passata um tomato puree which I use a lot of but I do like the tomato paste because it's a bit thicker as well and then I've got a a case of chickpeas I've got 12 chickpeas there my friend came with me and we're going to she's going to take some of those and we're like splitting the cost or well, she's paying obviously the, the the cost when we've divided it up of what her tins of chickpeas are and we use those in curries and for hummus i've got a big box of diet coke here i think that's like six pounds something before vat it was like eight pounds 15 or something after vat i've got some uh, tortilla wraps it's three packets of eight wraps and i'm going to pop one in the bread bin they've got a really good day on those the 15th of december and the other two in the freezer i've got this big um, packet of Robert's flowery white rolls, burgers and things, and pop those in the freezer, take them out as we need them. And again, with these uh, 12 naan breads, pop them in the freezer and take them out as I need them. And we have got some sage and onion stuffing. That makes 106 stuffing balls or something crazy like that. This big packet, because we use a lot of it. We really like it. Hmm, how many does it make? 106, 106 stuffing balls. And it was three pounds something. I think it's a pound for one of the small boxes. So that's a good deal. We've got some uh, minced garlic. That's got a huge date on it and it will fit in my fridge. And it's really good for easy things. So when we're doing uh, Chinese noodles or different things like that, like chow mein. So I don't know if I'm having a really easy tea and I want it to be really fast so I don't have to chop the garlic. It's really handy. Although I do love garlic because I like roasted garlic. And I've got a big ba uh, box of kettle chips that's um, 36 30 gram bags in there and then a double case of baked beans so they we use them for beans on toast we have them with our tea i put them in a chili all sorts of things and it what worked out it was it eight pounds something for all of the beans and how many is there for eight twelve um 24 tins of beans and normally it's two it's 
four for two pounds in the shops at the cheapest so it's definitely a saving and they'll just get used and used and used and used and they've got a really long date on them october 2023 so it lasts us for ages a box of digestive biscuits and hobnobs as you can see they've been opened they have already been raided by the children um, and they will last us for ages. I'm going to hide them and just bring them out one at a time. And then I also got these ones as well with the rich teas and ginger nuts, digestives and hob, regular hobnobs in them. I've got a big um, box of Ziploc bags. There's four boxes in there with those different sizes you can see on the front. And they're really handy for freezing things, separating them out. I've got some things I want to separate. So I'll definitely be, I've used them before and the other freezer bags aren't as strong as the branded Ziploc ones so and because they're stronger we can wash them and reuse them again so it's really useful some sort of flora that was £8.49 for three and I normally pay £3.99 for one of those big ones in B&M so it's like buy two get one free basically and then I've got some Harpic Bleach, I like to use bleach in my toilet to clean the toilet and six of those in there. A big box of fire lighters. We've got a wood burning stove in our sitting room. Um, it's 200 cubes there for something like five pounds and that'll keep us going all the way through the winter and further possibly. And very liquid, ran out yesterday. So I got a big, uh, they're, they're the big bottles, the really big bottles and it's the antibacterial one, six of those. They will last us a year, if not more. And I've got more toilet rolls. I did get toilet rolls last time. We've already gone through two packets of them. So we've got three left upstairs. And I'm not going to go back to Costco again until after Christmas. So um, I thought I would stock up on those ones as well. The Cashel ones. And you get uh, 45 toilet rolls for something like £16. And then a lovely little treat. I can't reach to... Uh, let me see. Move this out of the way. Bostani Chocolatier don't know what that is it's Belgian oh well there you go Belgian chocolates and they're little filled discs salted dark chocolate salt caramel milk chocolate salt caramel speculo loose filling I don't know what that is but I bet it's delicious oh I think it's biscuit it looks like a biscuit behind a hazelnut and pistachio they will be really nice there's a treat you've always got to get a couple of treats when you go to Costco so there we go and then some pasta. I really like this brand of pasta and it's organic. And that'll just keep us going for ages and ages and ages and ages. And I've got some spaghetti somewhere else as well. I'll show you that when I find it. And uh, batteries. Christmas is coming. We always need batteries. And I've got lots of little, um, those little push lights that I want to put up under my cupboards. And they'll be really handy for that. I've got a big anchor butter that's got a date of the end of December or something on it. So I'll pop it at the back of the fridge to use if I run out. Some a Wookiee Hole Cave Age cheddar. That's got a date of February on it. So that'll be really good. Some baby bells. We love baby bells. There's snacks in this house. Two lots of Cathedral City Mature Cheddar. I think they're like three pounds. For, and that's the big size. That's a 550 grams. So that's... Tesco's is our local shop and that's cheaper than Tesco's when it's on offer so it was a, a no-brainer and the date's really long I've got some of these twisted um flavor co couscous in East Indian inspired spice couscous and I just thought that would be a really easy lunches and things for Steve and I because we're both at home he works from home permanently regardless of the pandemic and things so that'd be nice easy lunches you just add hot water or, or vegetable stock and uh, it'll be really tasty some one of these big president squirty creams we like squirty cream on hot chocolates it's like a little treat that we all have and um and sometimes on a coffee as well so i've got that one while i was there another of these rapeseed oils a big hill farm ones uh, it's a uh, extra virgin cold pressed rapeseed oil so it's um the a british equivalent of um extra virgin olive oil and it's £2.60 something for that huge big 750 ml bottle. And that's cheaper than Aldi. So I had to get it while I was there. I got a great big bag of Maris Pipers for about £4. There's seven and a half kilos of potatoes in there. And they're in a dark bag. And I'll put them in the back of the dark pantry. And they'll last for ages. And then also a bag of these um, same brand, this uh, is it Garden of Elvenden uh, baking potatoes. I bought some last time and I just used the last two last night or the night before. Um, they lasted ages and they didn't go off. They didn't sprout. I didn't have to throw any of them in the way. They were really good quality. And that's like a 
three pounds fifty for that huge big bag of bacon potatoes and i've used them for chips and all sorts and then down here we've got some hazelnut spread so it's basically nutella just a kirkland brand it was cheaper to buy these two than the one big um huge big jar of nutella um and you get more with these two and then we've got some chestnuts steve wanted some whole chestnuts we're going to get some little cast iron pots and cook them on top of our well, roast them on top of our um wood burning stove if we can that'd be a nice treat over the winter some cacao powder to make brownies and milkshakes and pop into coffee to make mochas and things and it's an actual one so it's really good for you and it's got iron magnesium and potassium in it i've got a big great big sack of quinoa organic quinoa and i like to use that in stews and in chili all sorts of different things and it was seven pounds for that huge big one and sometimes you can pay about a fiver for a small one so that was really good and then behind the quinoa i'm gonna have to stand up and climb into my shopping we've got some stroop waffles they are amazing they're dutch i think and you just put it on top of your cup of cup of coffee the little um waffle and the caramel melts inside and they're really really tasty We've got two big kilogram boxes of crunch nut cornflakes, two uh, big 720 gram boxes of cocoa pops and two great big boxes of Quaker rolled oats. And that will all keep us going for ages and ages. There's the spaghetti, three kilograms of spaghetti pasta. Last us forever. I like to have it with just with some oil, um, chili and garlic. Really, really tasty. It's I think it's something called like spaghetti al aglio olio pepperoncino something like that i don't know it in italian probably but it's something it's really nice or with um pepperonata or obviously bolognese but really really nice and then a great big um carton of fruit shoots for the children they get them at a weekend as a treat or if we're out and about in the car and some bottles of highland spring water we've have had our water go off sometimes here there's been leaks and things um, and it's just nice to have it in the garage and um, just in case you need it for um, on hand and then I think we'll come back over this way the children are playing in the background you'll be able to hear them in a minute a big net of garlic again we are planting some of them um, to grow our own garlic of the individual cloves we've got some big pots so we're using for that and I like to roast bulbs of garlic for couscous and for in pasta etc a big bag of mozzarella what I'll do is I'll use the mozzarella on the week where I've planned um, lasagna and a pizza and something else. So we use it up like over a weekend and, and, um, and yeah, and or in toasties and things. And I mean, it will last a little bit. Actually, I might freeze some of it. It's probably freezable. So I'll, I'll have a look. I might freeze some of it. Got some mushrooms. White mushrooms, if you didn't know already, are full of antioxidants. And we have suffered with colds for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I'm going to make a big batch of mushroom soup and we're going to have that at the weekend. We've got a big tub of tomato medley, of a medley of tomatoes. And I'm going to roast those with balsamic and red wine vinegar and garlic. There's a little short video up on my channel, link below, of how I do it. And it is the best thing ever to dip bread in or have with a cheese board. Really, really tasty. I've got some uh cucumbers baby cucumbers my friend's gonna take some of these as well we can't eat all of those but they're really good for snacks and uh for sna salads and in sandwiches and then i've got some unsmoked back bacon six packets i'm going to freeze some of it it's got quite a good date on 8th of december so i'm going to keep two out and then freeze the rest and we'll use them as and when we need them and then i've got some aberdeen angus burgers i'll keep those out we'll have burgers in a few days and i'll freeze the rest and they'll we only have them once every couple of weeks normally so they'll last us a little while and we've got some 18 thick pork sausages again i'll freeze some of those like in the bags using the ziploc bags and keep a couple out i've got a big bag of frozen chicken nuggets because sometimes we need chicken nuggets for tea this makes life easier and they'll last for ages i've got this a uh, bag of frozen fruit my husband likes um frozen fruit like in overnight oats and things, a three berry blend, and then a great big, extra big bag of Aunt Bessie's homestyle chips. And they're really handy for like chicken nugget nights or the burger night. And just chuck those in the air fryer as and when we need them. 
really cook really quickly. I mean, it says 20 minutes. They'll cook in about 15 minutes in the air fryer. I got a packet of peppers while I was there, just because we'll use them over the weekend in different foods. I've got this big twin pack of yellow mustard. I like to use it in mac and cheese and in um, like nacho cheese sauce. And again, I'm splitting that one with my friend. I've got a big 500 uh, tub of multivitamins for myself and my husband. We all take vitamins. I've got some Nurofen for the children. There is some carpal somewhere. I'm not sure where that's gone. I might put it away already. Some heartburn tablets, some Sudafed, some paracetamol and caffeine tablets, Panadol, some Lemsips and some children's vitamins. Also some plasters because we go through plasters like crazy. Just stocking up our um, first aid cupboard. I've got a great big um, tin foil and a great big cling film. Again, they will last me a year as will these uh, bin lines. Well, they'll last me about 200 days so near oh not quite maybe two thirds of a year about six months so they'll last me a really long time and a box of the antibacterial hand wipes which are really useful with the children when we're out and about and then i've got this i haven't even i've got it standing up on end the wrong way around and everything oh kerry yeah. so kleenex can we see big six pack of kleenex tissues the balsam ones they're the ones that i always buy in the shop so i thought i may as well buy them in bulk they'll last me longer a big Colgate uh, pack of six Colgate total whitening pumps. And they were reduced on special offer, so they'll last us for ages. Um, six Carex hand washes. Again, they'll last us a while. But they come in a multi-pack, so you can't buy them any other way. And we have one upstairs and one downstairs, so we do go through them quite quickly. And plus, a lot of this stuff you go through quicker. Toilet rolls, tissues, hand wash. Because um, we're at home all the time now. We work from home, so... Um, you find you go through it quicker, so you don't use it in the workplace anymore, you just use it at home. Um, and our pyjamas, we've got these um, matching pyjamas. We always get some matching pyjamas at Christmas, well, always. We started it last year, and we had Mickey Mouse ones, and then these are these have got like fleecy bottoms in it, really nice. Um, one for each of us, and because I've got them a big size, they should last the children a year or more. Isaac's only five and he's in six to seven, eight already. But so I've got seven to eight for him, so it should last a while. And Eris five to six because she's four in January. Hello. And we've got our matching winter pajamas. That was a treat. And a, a Christmas story. We always like new Christmas stories every year. And I have wanted this book for ages and ages and ages. So I picked up. It was only four pounds something. Four forty nine. Um, it's supposed to be really really good. So I bought that. Last but not least, a Costco pizza. It's tradition. If I go to Costco, we have pizza for tea. And there we go. There is our Costco shop. I don't even think I can get it all in the shop. Let's have a look. There we go. Nearly everything. I'm <laughs> like leaning backwards, almost falling over. So there we go. There's our great big Costco shop. And that will last us for ages and ages and ages. And like I said, some of it will last a year. On and some of it six seven eight months so definitely worth it and hopefully this month these next couple of months leading up to christmas apart from christmas bits will just be um supplementing what we already have because the last few months i've just spent it stocking up our cupboards and our freezers so the cost of it all all of this here is my um receipt if you can see it it's gonna keep going Keep going, it's the biggest receipt ever. Dun, dun, dun. And still going, <laughs> still going. And there we go, right at the very bottom 522 pounds and 85 pence. Oh my goodness me, only 48 pounds of that was VAT because it's a lot of food, and a lot of the food in the books are VAT free. Um, but yeah, that's our great big Costco shop. And I am going to have the unenviable task of punning it all away. But there we go. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what's your go-to thing that you like to stock up on in your cupboards. What do you like to know you've got enough of? For me, it's things like the fairy liquid and the hand wash. And I did stock up about a year ago and I've just ran out now. So, um... 
yeah, it's nice to have those back in again, things that we don't run out of and, and medicines and things like that. So there we go. There's my great big shop. I'm going to go and put it away. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.